Hey there, it's Creative Venus, and I'm thrilled to have you back with me. In today's narrative, we'll delve into the world of mobile presentations, which have become a pivotal player in the current landscape. The beauty of these presentations is their seamless adaptability to portrait mode on your clients' phones. The ability to review presentations on the fly is a game-changer, and mobile presentations are the key to making that happen. Lately, I've been actively engaged in crafting a plethora of presentations tailored specifically for mobile devices. I invite you to join me on this journey as we quickly master the art of creating them. And do keep in mind that the morph transition animations we'll explore in this tutorial are truly spectacular. Let's kick things off by talking about the morph transition in PowerPoint. It's one of the most captivating features you'll find in any PowerPoint presentation, but you need to know how to use it effectively to make your slides stand out. To make it easier to grasp, take a look at the example on the screen. With the morph transition, key text or objects will smoothly animate from one slide to the next, and the way they move is based on their positioning. For instance, if an element is on the left in the previous slide, and in the current slide it's in the middle, and then in the next slide it's moved to the right, the morph transition will create a beautiful animation that seamlessly transitions from left to right across these three slides. In essence, Morph makes your slide elements glide and transform gracefully as you navigate through your presentation. When you review the template preview, you'll notice that I've positioned several text elements outside the slide boundaries across the slides. These elements are specifically arranged for the Morph transition, and their animations are determined by their placement throughout the template. Consider creative strategies for distributing the text elements across the slides to craft captivating animations. Remember to click on the Morph option within the Transitions tab. Upon inspecting the Animations tab, you'll notice that there's just one animation in use. If you observe, the slide currently has a wide 16 by 9 aspect ratio for widescreen displays. To adapt it for a mobile screen's portrait layout, you'll need to modify the slide dimensions. To do so, navigate to the Design tab and switch the numeric measurements of the slide's height and width. Click on the scale up and here you go. Now you can create presentation slides as you create on a white screen layout. Next, you can add the stock images to each slide and then resize them to fit the background. Afterward, you can crop the slides to expedite the video, as the steps are easy to follow. Following that, insert a rectangular shape on the left, increase its transparency, make it full width, and try to match the dark color. You can adjust the transparency as needed. Insert another rectangular shape, Position it to the left, remove its outline, change its color to white, and slightly increase its transparency to reveal the background. Adjust its width and create a duplicate, increasing the thickness. The goal here is to create a pattern. Once more, insert a rectangular shape and apply a gradient color from top to bottom. You should be familiar with how to fill the gradient color by now. The concept here is to generate a reflection effect, which is why I've established this gradient layer. You only need to incorporate a gradient that consists of white color, flowing from the top to the bottom. Finally, insert a circular shape and transform it into an oval. Utilize the oval shape to subtract the gradient layer, resulting in a stunning light reflection effect on your slide. You have the option to make additional refinements to the subtracted layer by tweaking the gradient direction and transparency. While it's not mandatory, I frequently employ this layer to impart a unique appearance to my presentation slides. It also lends a touch of realism to the presentations.
I've extended the layer to cover the entire height, and my next step is to duplicate it and introduce an additional layer for reflection. To enhance its visual appeal, flip the layer vertically to incorporate a realistic lighting effect. Now, you can make some last-minute refinements to the layers, adjusting their transparency and colors as needed. Afterward, apply these layers to all the slides. Simply copy and paste them. You can utilize the selection pane to choose the layers and paste them onto the slides. Now let's insert content on the slide. As you progress through your presentation, remember that the content you add should align with the slide's purpose and topic. It's essential to maintain the same level of attention to text styling across all slides to ensure a polished and effective presentation. Whether you're adding text, images, or other elements, each slide's content should support your overall message and engage your audience. Text styling allows you to emphasize key points and establish a hierarchy of information. Using different fonts, sizes, colors, or styles for headings, subheadings, and body text helps guide the viewer's attention and understand the structure of your presentation. Now, we'll insert an empty circle and position it on the slide. Its primary purpose is purely aesthetic. The plan is to shift its placement across the slides, creating a visually striking effect during the morph transition in your slideshow. In this step, I'm making some final adjustments to the layers and text to ensure a more harmonious and cohesive appearance. The objective is to achieve an overall balanced and well-coordinated look for the slide. I aim to introduce a gradient fill to the layer positioned above the background image. The use of gradient colors imparts a more dynamic and visually appealing aspect to the design. To achieve this, simply click on the layer that appears in blue above the background image and apply the gradient fill. Be deliberate and take your time in selecting the appropriate colors, ensuring that they resonate with the presentation's topic and your brand's theme. To create a harmonious color scheme, employ two to three gradient stops effectively. The significance of careful content placement in a presentation cannot be overstated. This fundamental aspect of presentation design goes beyond aesthetics, impacting both the clarity of your message and its ability to engage and resonate with your audience. First and foremost, precise content placement serves as the bridge between you and your audience, ensuring that your message is conveyed effectively. Think of it as a roadmap for your viewers, guiding them through your presentation logically and effortlessly. When your content is strategically positioned, it's like taking your audience on a smooth, guided tour rather than sending them on a bewildering journey. Consistency in content placement is a visual cue of professionalism. A presentation with a haphazard arrangement can undermine your credibility, while a well-organized layout signals that you've put thought and effort into your message. It reinforces your brand identity, enhancing brand recognition and perception. Moreover, content placement is not only about making your presentation attractive but also about making it accessible. Ensuring that your content is well arranged makes your presentation user-friendly, accommodating various devices and screen sizes. This is crucial in our increasingly mobile and diverse digital world. On an emotional level, content placement can be a powerful tool. The way you position content can influence how your audience feels while viewing your presentation. For instance, strategically placed visuals can evoke a sense of nostalgia or excitement, reinforcing the message you want to convey. In terms of memory retention, a well-organized presentation enhances comprehension and recall. When information is laid out logically, it becomes easier for your audience to remember and refer back to it when needed. What I've accomplished is duplicating the gradient layer and applying it consistently to all the slides, adjusting the gradient colors on each one. Now, all that's left is to customize the content, and your presentation will be good to go. Let's proceed by shifting the text elements across the slides to create a smooth morph transition effect. As I explained earlier, you can employ the morph transition feature. To achieve this effect, position the text on the current slide to the left, outside of the slide's boundaries in the previous slide. As the slides transition, the text will animate from the left and seamlessly merge with the content on the current slide, thanks to the morph transition. Your slide is now prepared. Let's have a glimpse of the finished result. This is the end result, and it's truly impressive. It's especially impactful when your client views it on the go using a mobile device. Stay tuned for more of our videos, and we'll catch you in the next one.